Hey, if you've been experiencing game crashes in the new Fortnite season, well let me showcase a few different methods you can use to fix them. And if this video does help, please drop a like and subscribe for more. Now let's jump into the video. Method 1. Resetting Configurations With Method 1, which seems to fix the crashes for most people out there, including set, for example, alright so on your desktop, press the Windows key plus R at the same time to open up the Run box. Inside type in percent sign local app data percent sign, then press F and find the Fortnite game folder. Then you want to head into saved, head into config, head into Windows client, and inside here, you'll find your config file or also known as the game user settings file. What you want to do is go ahead and delete it. By deleting it, you get rid of old game files and replace them with new ones. To get it back, you just need to open up the game. But once you've opened the game, you will notice that your video settings have been fully reset or put back to default. So you need to go through each one of those and actually put them back to your configured settings. Method 2. Compatibility Tweaks Next, for method number 2, you want to open up the Epic Games Launcher. You want to head into the library. You want to click on those three horizontal dots next to Fortnite. You then want to go into Manage and where it says Installation. You want to click that little icon. Head into Fortnite Game. Head into Binaries. Into Win64. And then if you scroll down to where it says Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping, right-click on that. Head into its properties. Inside where it says compatibility, you can just come down to this compatibility mode box and where it says run this program in compatibility mode for. Give that a tick and then select Windows 8. Then in addition to that, they also recommend that you check the box next to disable full screen optimization, which is literally just below it. Disable full screen optimization. Give that a take, then click apply and click OK and see if that fixes any crashes. Don't forget to also relaunch Fortnite if that is unsuccessful for you. You can literally go back and revert those changes by checking both of them and then clicking apply. Method 3. File Verification Next from that, we've got method number 3 and we want to be on the Epic Games Launcher. You then want to go to the library again, find the three horizontal dots, click on Manage. Then, this time, at the top where it says Verify Files, you want to click on that Verify button. And what this will do, it'll verify your files. So it'll go through and scan all your files and make sure they're all correct, up to date and make sure there's no sort of missing ones or corrupt ones, which could indeed be responsible for your game crashes. And this may take a little while. It depends on your PC. If you've got a really potato PC, it will take longer. But after it has actually verified all of them, you'll be able to launch the game and hopefully that does fix your game crashes. Method number 4. Optimizing Rendering For number 4, we're going to go into Game. We're going to go into your video settings and under where it says Rendering Mode, you want to select Performance, Low Graphical Fidelity. Why you should use it? Because you'll get a massive FPS boost. You can also put meshes on Low which will obviously make those a lot lower quality too and in turn boost your FPS even more. But I know for a lot of people out there, you do prefer DirectX 12. Method 5. System Updates Lastly, this optimization is so unbelievably simple, but every once in a while I would check for updates so we're going to go over to our desktop and we're going to search up update like so. And this will bring you to the Windows Update section where you can search for updates and see if there's any updates available. Not only does this fix Windows issues, it also gets rid of packet loss. It should also boost your FPS and get you better ping. Don't ask me why this is the case, but it always works for me especially when there's a cumulative update. So yeah, also be sure to check for updates myself. I'm a big fan of keeping my windows up to date as I just find it performs better overall. However, I know that's not the case for everyone, but I thought I'd throw this in as it's something you can go ahead with. In addition, keep GPU drivers up to date. So say if you've got an NVIDIA GPU or AMD GPU, you can go either the GeForce drivers or the AMD drivers page and see if there's an update for your GPU. And that right there is how you can possibly resolve your game crashes in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. Also feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I'm on my way to 2000 subscriber and posting more often. Check out any of my videos before you go.